How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we are going to talk about two very popular android skins here we have the OnePlus 13 that has the Oxygen S15 and we also got the Oppo Find X8 which is one of my favorite android phones right now and this is running the Color S15 we all know that both are very similar looking UIs that have a lot of things in common but there are some differences here and there which i wanted to show you in this video and since many of you are asking me how identical the color os and the oxygen os looks in real life so i thought why not go ahead and make a quick comparison video between these two phones guys it's going to be an interesting video so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one With that said, drop a like, leave a comment, and let's get started. All right, guys. First things first. We will talk about the lock screen customization. Even though we have got very similar clock styles and beautiful transitions on both the Color OS and the Oxygen S15, if you just unlock the phone, go into Settings, Wallpaper and Style, then tap on More Flex Themes. Here we get some additional themes on the Color OS compared to the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 13. If you go into the pulse section we do get some more cool looking themes on the Oppo Find X8 which is currently not available on the OnePlus 13 not only this there are some additional categories on the Color OS like there are something called as Calm and Zen Planet which you won't find on the Oxygen S15 so basically you get additional lock screen themes on the Oppo devices compared to the OnePlus which will help you further customize your lock screen in a more unique way next if you talk about the home screen The first change you will notice here is that we get circular icons in the Oxygen OS 15 compared to squarish icons in the Color OS. This is the default icons you will see when you first boot up your phone, but you can easily change that by going into the wallpaper and style, select icons and it will be set to classic. Just click on custom and change the icon shape by simply using this slider. So this way you can easily make the icons more rounded in the Color OS. Now since we are inside the app drawer let me tell you one thing you will see a lot of bloatware and pre-installed applications on the Color OS compared to the Oxygen S15 on the OnePlus 13 we started getting apps like App Market which is still not a great thing but that's about it you won't see any other unwanted bloatware on this phone but on my Oppo Find X8 which is still a flagship device there are a lot of unwanted apps that come pre-installed on this phone we have got App Market Finshell Pay, My Oppo app, then we have got apps like Snapchat, Phone Manager, O Roaming, Screen Lock and there is a bunch of hot apps folder which you get pre-installed on this phone. You can easily disable most of these apps and notifications by going inside the phone settings, but adding these bloatware on a flagship phone doesn't look good. So the Oxygen S15 is still a lot cleaner and has very less bloatware compared to the Color OS which you get on Oppo devices. Next, let me open the quick settings panel on both phones. Here we can see a couple of visual changes. First, we have got a more rounded design in the Oxygen S15 with pill-shaped quick toggles and sliders compared to the slightly rectangular shape on the Color S15. Not only that, even the background blur intensity is slightly different on both phones, especially when you are using light mode. In OnePlus, you can clearly see the difference between light and dark mode. One more thing you'll notice here is the two-tone color accent, which is exclusive to the OnePlus devices. So when you go into settings, Select wallpaper and style then click on colors you will see the two tone option is only available on the OnePlus 13 and currently it is not present in Color OS now since we are in the settings menu there is another small difference you can see here we have inline icons available on the Oxygen S15 compared to filled icons in the Color OS based on Android 15 next we have the OnePlus exclusive red and white accent clock available for the always on display and even when you go to the lock screen themes page You will see the never settle lock screen font which is available only for the OnePlus devices and you won't find this in the Color OS 15. There is an easter egg hidden inside the calculator app. All I have to do is just type OnePlus and then click on equal to. I get this never settle logo pops out on my phone screen. This you cannot do on any Oppo device running Color OS. Not only that, when you go to the software update, you can see we have different update screens for both phones. and similarly when you go to the about section we have slightly different banners on both the devices so there are some visual changes throughout the interface which still separates the oxygen s15 from color os guys you also get the exclusive never settle clock widget on the oxygen os which actually looks really really good and it is not available on the color os 15 now finally if we talk about animations 
I haven't noticed any difference in terms of animations and the overall smoothness. Both OxygenOS and ColorOS will provide you with the smoothest Android experience with buttery smooth animations and I absolutely love the animations on both phones. So if you want to have the best animations and smooth experience, then you can pick either the OnePlus or Oppo's flagship device. You will get the exact smooth experience. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comment section which UI do you prefer, whether you like the Oxygen S15 or you want to go with the Color S15. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.